Panasonic TVs are back in the US for the very first time in a very long time. If you guys have been living under a rock, we haven't had Panasonic for so many years and now we finally got them. And I'm excited because they always are looked at as some of the best TVs around the world, constantly winning different awards. They're even looked at as the Hollywood standard in many different cases. And it's crazy, you know, that they haven't been here. But finally, they're back. They're back and they're bringing their best with them. Like, it's not like we're just getting some knockoff TVs and slapping Panasonic on the label. No, they're bringing their best. The Z95A flagship OLED, the Z85A mid-range OLED, and the W95A mini LED. We'll go over each of these respectively and I'll talk about my thoughts and opinions on Panasonic coming back to the US and what it means for you even past this 2024 lineup. So let's start off with the W95A mini LED TV and something that I won't repeat from each slide is going to be the processor is the same exact processor in every TV which is great it's not gate kept to like one specific unit you're getting the same processor no matter what TV you choose in this lineup. You're also getting HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and HLG formats in every TV within this lineup. So the mini LED TV is going to be one of the only ones that's offered in multiple sizes. So you have the 55 inch at 1299, the 65 inch at 1799, the 75 inch at 2299, and the 85 inch at 2999. The max refresh rate on this TV is actually going to be 144 hertz. So if you have a PC capable of doing 144 hertz gaming, you can do that with this TV. The backlight technology in this TV is of course mini LED which is one of the best TV technologies you can get for an LCD TV. Now let's go to the next one in the lineup, which is the Z85A. The Z85A is a W OLED, and this is going to be looked at in competition to the LG C4, the Bravia 8, and the S90D. It's within that price bracket, within that price range, and it's going to measure probably very similar to those. Of course, the S90D from Samsung will be a QD OLED, while the other ones are going to be W OLED, just like this Z85A. And I think that the Z85A is priced pretty similarly to those TVs. And I think that the Z85A is coming in at a fair price tag at $15.99 for the 55 inch and the 65 inch is $17.99. So that's a pretty good launch price for the Z85A relative to the competition that's out there. I'm really excited to see how this will stack up against say the Bravia 8 or the LG C4. This is where I think Panasonic can really make noise, this mid-range OLED category. Now, unfortunately, you only have a max refresh rate of 120 hertz, so you don't have that 144 hertz PC gaming support. For that, you'd have to go to the next one in the lineup, the Z95A. This is also using W OLED, but this has the MLA technology. So all in all, you're getting a similar TV to the LG G4. This is going to be where you see the Z95A compete with the G4, with the S95D, with the A95L. And of course, I mentioned you have the PC gaming support for 144 hertz on this TV. And Panasonic is labeling this as the Master OLED Ultimate. They don't specifically specifically say MLA in the actual description box, probably so they could switch this technology year after year if they need to, to just whatever the best is at the time. This year they chose MLA, and who knows, hopefully next year they'll choose QD OLED as their master OLED ultimate. The 65 inch is coming in at $31.99. Now that is kind of pricey to be honest with you, it's a higher launch price than I would be expecting, but you know, it puts it just under the A95L, and it puts it above where the S95D and the G4 are sitting right now at their sale price. Now, of course, this is a launch price. This isn't really going to be determined on what the launch price is. We're going to judge it off of its sale price. And we'll see sale prices eventually, I'm sure. So one thing that's unique about the Z95A is going to be the sound system. It's got a 160-watt, 7-channel audio system. A lot of people that heard this TV have been blown away by the audio system in this TV. And I think... Seeing a TV manufacturer go all out on sound and give you a good sound experience is really nice. It's pretty similar to what Sony does, and to see another manufacturer do that, it's a breath of fresh air, and I'd love to see something like that going forward from all the TV manufacturers. So what does this mean for you? Like, what is Panasonic coming back to the U.S. mean for you ultimately, and what does it mean for the future of TVs? 
Well, if you take a look at their lineup here, you can see it's a bit slim. It's not as much as you would expect from a TV lineup. And I think that's because they're launching later in the year. I'm excited for Panasonic coming back. I think in 2025, we'll see much more in terms of size options and model options. And I think we could even see a cutie OLED from Panasonic, which makes me really excited because they're not tied to any TV technology. But I guess we'll find out at CES, which of course I will be covering. But them coming back, it's just great for competition, right? It's gonna push Samsung, Sony, LG, even TCL and Hisense with the mini LEDs. Anytime we can get another competitor in the space, that's just good news for us, you know? So I'm very excited that Panasonic is back. I'm going to give you my outlook on these TVs. I think the Z95A is going to compete pretty good with the G4, but a lot of people are going to end up skipping it and looking at the G4 and the S95D just because of the price tag right out the gate. Now, if the Z95A can get closer to the G4 and the S95D's price tag, it can compete, right? Panasonic is a big name and there's a lot of things that the Z95A is going to do just a little bit better than those TVs. But on the flip side, there's going to be things like the S95D being QD OLED, having that advantage over the Z95A and the G4 is going to do certain things better than the Z95A while the Z95A does certain things better than the G4. They're going to trade blows for sure, and this is going to be a very competitive category, but I definitely think they're going to have to lower that price before they really compete in this category. The Z85A, on the other hand, I see this being a very competitive TV in the mid-range category right away. Like, this is probably going to compete very well with the Bravia 8 and the LG C4, as well as the S90D. All those TVs are very close together. Even though the S90D is a QD OLED, it still does find itself competing with the W OLEDs in that range, being limited in its peak brightness and the overall capability of what the TV can do. The S90D is not really like the S95D. It is more closer to what the C4 and the Bravia 8 is just with a better color brightness overall being QD OLED. But I do see the Z85A competing there and I'm very excited to see this competition for myself head to head. Let me know, do you guys wanna see this competition? I would love to hear your answer. I'm not gonna speak too much on the W95A because I really don't know what category of mini LED this is going to be. Like, is it going to compete with the Bravia 7? Is it gonna be more of a U7N competitor? Is it a more of a U8N competitor from Hisense? QM8 from TCO. We really need to learn a little bit more about this mini LED before we can really dig deep into it but I'm excited for that as well. Let me know what you guys think about Panasonic coming back to the US and are you looking to buy any of these? Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear your answer. If you guys wanna keep watching videos, I think you'll like one of these right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.